Well, well, well. Welcome back. Fancy seeing you here. This is Monday Night Live. Huzzah! Welcome back. Or welcome, depending. If you're new, type new in the comments. Let us know. Where are you watching from? It might take a few minutes for the new people to jump on. To find us. Yes, yes. But yeah. we're happy to be here with you this evening to talk about a proper human diet and answer your questions. For the next hour, yes. we will answer as many as possible. We cannot get to all of them, unfortunately. We are humans, not AI. And aren't you happy about that? Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Ellen says, now is the time to hit the thumbs up or the heart. And the like and share. And share this. Share this video. There are people out there suffering from type 2 diabetes, fatty liver, hypertension, autoimmune, auto arthritis, uh, all kinds of things that can be improved, if not completely reversed, by adopting and eating a proper human diet strictly enough for long enough. I'm Nisha Sellis Hypenberry. I'm a registered nurse turned YouTuber turned health coach and breastfeeding consultant. This is my partner in life and uh, a crime if you ask the FDA, probably. No. <laughs> Dr. Ken Barry. Yeah, I am Ken Barry, hyphen Barry, and I'm a family <laughs> physician, and I've been practicing family medicine for 22 years. I used to be severely obese and pre diabetic, and uh, reversed those by discovering, rediscovering, and adopting a proper human diet. And I had an autoimmune disease. Well, I have an autoimmune disease. I have Hashimoto's and I had infertility. And both of those things, both of those things have been resolved by eating a low inflammatory proper human diet. And if those of you um, tuning in here don't know what it means when we say the words proper human diet, um, the long and short of it is low inflammatory type food. So we stay away from mm -hmm. grains, sugars, um, corn, wheat, bread. Simple things. It's very keto, but we also lean towards the carnivore yeah. end of the spectrum where we eat a lot of red meat and saturated mm -hmm. fat. And if you'd like a free guidebook that explains it in detail, there's a link in the show notes. Uh, we'll email you a copy for free. Yeah. And yeah. we teach these things inside of our private uh, PhD community as well. We have lots of members in the comments that can share their experience in the PhD community. If you want to hear more, click on the link in the description. Here's one of our coaches in our private community. Hey, Paulette. Paulette. Hey, Paulette. Good to see you. Here's another coach, Paola. Paola. Hola, Paola. I don't know why your name makes me want to speak Spanish. Hola, Paola. I, Paola is not Spanish. I definitely, Her husband is Puerto Rican. I definitely cannot speak Spanish. He tries. He tries. Really I do hard. try. I try really hard. So <laughs> now's your time. If you've got questions about diet, nutrition, medication, medical conditions, be uh, as brief as you can in your question while including all relevant information, and we will try to answer your question. I just saw uh, on Twitter that the federal government is raiding P. Diddy's home and his studio. I think that he had a bunch of copies of Lies My Doctor Told Me, oh, and they, the uh, American Medical Association said we gotta we gotta get those. He thinks he's funny. He thinks it's funny. Do you think it's funny? Was that a dad joke? I don't know if that was a dad joke or just an interesting joke. Holly crazy in the hey, comments. Hey, Holly. Good to uh, see you. Holly is an OG. So we have lots of questions. Let's get right to it. Can you find a good one, Doctor? Yeah, here's Thomas. He said he's uh, making slow transition to carnivore. Sugar addiction is tough to conquer. Sure is. 100% it is. Mm -hmm. That's because there, it's a sugar addiction. Uh, research is increasingly showing this to be very true. The same parts of your brain are activated when you eat sugar as are activated when you take drugs. So yeah, it, it's going to take a while, but it absolutely is doable. You can do it. Just keep hope and keep trying. Buffy mm. says, what is the best diet for not getting diabetes? Yes. Now we're obviously talking about type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is something that is a autoimmune auto problem. Right. So type 2 diabetes, if you'd like to never get it, you're going to eat as low carb as you can every meal, every day. And the, the, that's why we've had, at this point, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people completely reverse their type 2 diabetes after they've already been diagnosed with it by adopting and sticking to either a keto, keto diet, ketovore diet, or carnivore diet. 
Carla, this is an excellent question. How do you feel about red light therapy for saggy skin from weight loss? And we're going to get your opinion on this, but then I'm going to prompt you on a slightly pivot mm -hmm. from this. Sure. Okay? Yeah. So the red skin, uh, the red light light that you would buy for hundreds of dollars are a complete and utter waste of your money. There is no research, zero, none showing that red LED lights will tighten your skin or will do anything for you. OK, um, there is some research on specific wavelengths of red laser lights that can actually penetrate deeply into the skin, perhaps even deeper. But red LED lights, which is what these things are, just like on Beckett's little toy race car, the little lights that flash. Yeah. Oh. I, I had super glued it. Misha just grabbed the one part. She, this has got LED lights on it. So maybe this will, no, it's no, no, it's not going to do anything. Now, I'll tell you guys all a secret. If you would like a an unlimited source of free red light therapy, take off your shirt and go out in the sun. It's free. And it's, it is a stronger red light therapy than any red light therapy product you can buy on the market. All right. So it seems like Carla's problem here is that she has lost a lot of weight. Huzzah, Huzzah. Carla. Yeah, yeah. And she has extra skin now. Yeah. What actually would help yeah. with this problem? So we've had hundreds, if not thousands of people report to us that by doing longer intermittent fasting each and every day, like 18 or 20 hours a day, Carla, or doing a two day fast once a week or a three day fast every other week, that when they take uh, an update picture in their underwear, they don't post it. They just take it and save it on the phone. And each month they take a picture of the area with this in the same lighting, same angle, same everything that when they're doing this fasting, that it, it seems that it ups the rate of autophagy and this skin actually gets tighter and tighter and tighter as months go on. Now, if you want to get it gone really quickly, Carly, you're going to have to go see a plastic surgeon. That's going to cost money and that's going to have potential complications or side effects. But if you want to do it slowly, go out in the sun and intermittent fast. Now, uh, you have to fast properly because there's like a million. Everybody calls everything a fast these days. So Dr. Jason Fung is a great resource when it comes to fasting yes. properly. So you can easily find him on YouTube and other resources. But I have another question for you. Okay, because sure. There's a hot topic okay. going oh, on okay, okay. right now that intermittent, intermittent fasting is actually really, really bad for you. It increases and your increases rate of heart dying of heart by disease by 90%. Yeah. yeah. So, so Dr. Barry, can you, can you share what you yeah. think about this? Yeah. Study? So I actually have a video coming out on my YouTube channel tomorrow about this study. And the reason for the air quotes is this was not a study. Mm. This was a poster presentation at an American Heart Association conference. It has not been peer reviewed. It has not been published. OK, this was just a poster that somebody made and stuck up at the AHA meeting. Now, uh, I don't blame mainstream media because this is a very click clickbaity title. I blame them. I'm gonna well, here's no, them here's why you shouldn't. And I'll talk about this okay. in tomorrow's video. The American Heart Association put out an actual press release on something that's not peer reviewed, not published. It was a poster presentation mm -hmm. saying, oh, my God. Right. So at that point, you can't blame Fox News and CNN. Yes, I can. Investigative journalism and. and uh, okay, now I get your point. I, you, <laughs> I you, feel like yeah, you should look into this. But the yeah. but you know, I I if if the 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 person at CNN said, look, the AHA posted it as a press release. What? Who am I? I'm not a doctor. Mm -hmm. I get it. I get it. Okay. I, my problem is with the AHA for posting something as an official press release. That's that literally could turn out to be complete and utter horseshit because it hasn't been peer reviewed. And also, it's it's, uh, it's a joke. Honestly. It's a joke. It's a total joke. It's, they yeah. basically asked people a questionnaire and they didn't take into account snacking. And there's a whole like you can it's look this ridiculous. up. I yeah. want you guys to learn how to read studies. We're going to work on one, one of our coaches or PhD coaches inside the community is brilliant and has done presentations about it's how to read a study and understand if it's a good quality study or if it's just crap. Yeah. And we're really working on getting some resources for you guys inside. Absolutely. The community. All right. Thomas says my insulin. Resistance score three, A1C 5.5, HDL 75, LDL 345. 
triglycerides, 84. My C-peptide is 0. 0, uh, 0.75. My total cholesterol before going off statins was around 112. My doctor wants me back on statins. Advice, anything to worry about metabolic-wise, estimated glucose, 111, TMAO. Yeah. So TMAO has been completely discredited as anything you need to worry about. Uh, I think all the APO lipoproteins, uh, APO B, uh, LP little A, all this stuff is still experimental. It might turn out to mean something, but we don't have enough research to know. Your A1C is great. Your triglycerides are good. Your HDL is good. Your mm -hmm. C-peptide is good. You are metabolically healthy. Huzzah, carry on. And if you decide to tell your doctor, no, I'm not taking a statin, that is your right as a grown human being. Quick reminder. This is not the clinic. You are not sitting in the Barry Clinic. Dr. Barry's not your doctor. This is not medical advice for food the YouTube. It's for education and entertainment purposes. You should always work with your provider when you want to make decisions about your health. Hopefully you have a good provider. And if you don't, please take the time and make the effort to find a provider that it's going to support you. It's a it's a lightning storm here. So yeah. if the electricity goes out. About to have a thunderstorm. <laughs> Hopefully. Yep. No. All right. Um, let's see. Here we got nap, which is better to skip when doing two mab, which is two meals a day, uh, breakfast or dinner. Yes. It literally doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, actually, in my book, Lies My Doctor Told Me, one of the little white lies is that you shouldn't eat too late in the evening. It can lead to weight gain. Zero research to support that. Now, eating late in the evening too close to bedtime can increase your risk of heartburn, reflux, GERD, uh, sleep apnea, snoring, and other things, it's not going to make you gain weight. So if, if, if it works better for your schedule and your family, your work, to skip breakfast, and that most people, that's what they do. Uh, per, the perfect, yeah, yeah. And so you can you can have your, your dinner, uh, your lunch and your dinner in a four or six hour window. Perfect, okay? That's an 18 or 22 hour fast. Now, if you're like, no, it works better for me to skip dinner, perfect, do that. You can still get that 18 uh, to 16 hour fast or uh, 18 to 20 hour fast, no sweat. And either way is going to work great. CJ, welcome back. Uh, help with allergy causing relentless cough. Mm, yeah. So if you want to take one of the antihistamines that are over the counter for a few days to help with this, I think that's totally fine and safe. What you don't want to do is take them long term. Also, one of the nasal steroid sprays, you could take use that temporarily, short term, to help with the symptoms until this gets better on its own. But I think you'll notice, CJ, as you continue to adopt and stick to a proper human diet, you're going to have a little allergy flare up now and then, but it's not going to be severe enough for you to need medication. Definitely not prescription medication. Smelly fella. Smelly fella. Diagnosed type 2, A1C 10.5. Uh, 324 pounds, 324 pounds as of today, down to 213 and a daily glucose staying in the 90s, uh, but still getting bedtime spikes. Uh, apple cider vinegar will help maybe two or three points. That's what the research shows. Apple cider vinegar can help greatly with, with heartburn and reflux until you heal that with a proper human diet, but it's not going to lower your blood sugar much. What I want you to do, smelly fella, is get your A1C and fasting insulin checked by your doctor. And I think you'll you'll find that those those higher spikes or higher elevations at bedtime are not glycating your hemoglobin and therefore you've got a great A1C. True health. My mom, 72 years old, 50 to 100 grams of carbs per day, mm -hmm. type O5 on armor, antibodies are high, TPO is 216. TGAB is 15.9. Okay. Is this Hashimoto? Yes. She has fatigue, bad sleep, joint pain. She's okay with change, ketovore, carnivore, yep. elimination. Yeah. Yep. So your mom's off to a great start. She's just got to cut the carbs a little more. And if she loves meat and eggs and could eat that every day, I'd go carnivore for at least 90 days. And then you can, she can decide if she wants to add back in some selected vegetables or fruits or nuts or whatever. Uh, but she definitely has Hashimoto's uh, from the labs that you typed in. And she may currently need a higher dose of armor than she's on. Talk to her doctor about that. I would say if she goes carnivores and make sure that she doesn't increase her dairy by a lot, maybe yeah. stop the dairy altogether and make yeah. sure she's getting plenty of fat from animal sources. Absolutely. All right. Let's see. Cynthia, hey, 68 Cynthia. year old female RN. Hey, Nursi. Hashimoto's last TSH was 0 0.24. Now zero carnivore five months. My liver with roxin is 1.5. Sonomel is 25 mics. Free T3 and four ordered now. 
what's causing me to be anxious. My heart rate is up. Yeah. So you're, you don't need as much Synthroid. You're, you've now calmed down your thyroid enough that the, the 150 of legal thyroxine is too much. And the cytomel, it, it, the combo is too much for you. So talk to your doctor. This is very common when people with hypothy or Hashimoto's adopt ketovore or carnivore. Uh, they don't need as much thyroid replacement, replacement hormone. It's almost like that your thyroid is healing or something. Hey, Tuto. Tuto. Hey, Tuto. Massive salutes and respiratory to diagnosis. In respect. Sorry, respect. Sorry. <laughs> In my nurse brain, that's oh, God, respiration. Uh, Dr. Barry and fam, greeting from our entire Italian national rugby team in Italy. Please, everyone follow Dr. Barry in his videos. Tuto is a frequent flyer on our live streams, yes. and we're happy to have him back. However, I know that it is sleeping time for you, Tuto, and yeah. you need to go to Sleep is important, Tuto. <laughs> go to bed. Thanks for being here, man. Uh, now, thoughts on dry mm. fasting for 24 hours or more. Yeah, so there's a lot of uh, information out there on YouTube and other uh, platforms that dry fasting is especially dangerous. This is dumb. Now, if you're going to do a seven day dry fast, yeah, you could run into problems with that. But if you're like, no, I just want to dry fast for 18, 20, 22, 24 hours, 100 percent totally safe and fine. Unless you're on prescription medication, then talk to your doctor. There is zero danger unless you're already severely dehydrated which you probably ain't or you wouldn't be watching this with doing a 24 hour dry fast and a dry fast. For those of you who don't know, most people, when they talk about a fast, they drink water during the fast. A dry fast is when you just don't ingest anything. Some people don't even take showers. Right. And that's, I think that's, or brush your teeth. Uh, right. I think that's unnecessary. You're not going to absorb much water through your skin because of the stratum corneum, but yeah, go, and this actually increases the, the power of the fast probably increases the rate of autophagy even more and also encourages your body to make something called metabolic water, which is very low in deuterium, which might be a big deal. Don't know yet. Need more research on that. But dry fasting for, for, for up to 24 hours is completely safe unless your own prescription medications are severely dehydrated. Hey, Zachary Scott, thanks for the super sticker. Uh, Smelly Fella says, I mean, I'm down... To 313 from 324. Ah, gotcha. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Keep going. Don't stop. Nav says, last week I asked about water filters. Do you have a specific brand that you can recommend? We have reverse osmosis. I cannot remember the brand. We don't have any kind of brand deal. I would just go to Amazon and look for reverse osmosis filter system and then pick the one with the most five-star reviews or the Amazon pick because it's gotten the most positive feedback. You're probably not going to get bamboozled if you go that route. The filament lows as well. And also lows, yeah. Nick, hey, Dr. Barry, carnival for three months and nearly every aspect of life has improved. Been years since my last blood work and I'm going next week. What do you recommend I ask for besides a basic lipid panel? Thanks. And uh, did you tell me how old you are? No. no. Okay. So uh, the, li the, the limited panel, since I don't know your age or other medical conditions, will be a CBC, a CMP, a UA, a lipid panel, magnesium, phosphorus, if you're having any low thyroid symptoms, then a full thyroid panel that we talk about in our private group, uh, A1C, fasting insulin. Uh, if you're injecting insulin, then a C-peptide. If you're not injecting insulin, then a fasting insulin. If you're over the age of 50, Nick, then you'll need a PSA or some kind of prostate check, and you'll also need some kind of colon cancer screening, which does not have to involve a scope up your booty hole. David. I'm glad we said booty hole. Hello, neighbors. What's your insight on any benefits to using castor oil? Thanks for everything you guys do. So I think castor oil is great for putting on your skin. Uh, if, if you want just to use a little temporary something for moisture, it's not moisture, it's an it's oil. It's a hot topic right now. Yeah, it's very hot. I know it's very, very popular. Right uh, if you want to get a good case of the shits, then take castor oil internally by mouth. That will absolutely give you a good cleaning out as Granny Berry says, uh, I don't think that's necessary or beneficial in any way. Uh, People really love to yeah. talk about the benefits of castor yeah. oil. Is it going to castor oil hurt you? No, I, well, unless you take too much, it can cause electrolyte abnormalities you from the, the the explosive diarrhea. diarrhea right? But no, no, you can put it on your skin. You can mix it with essential oils. I think all that's fine. But it, don't you think it's funny that castor oil is the new apple cider vinegar? I do. Isn't that funny? When I first started this search, it was trending, I don't know, three months ago. And it's really kind of, it's at its peak yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'll, 
Look, four or five years ago, I was making my own eyelash serum using castor oil, and I feel like that's so funny that all of a sudden now it's popular. It's like, you're always ahead not of the new. You're always ahead of the curve. But you're I don't think there's anything so. wrong with it. So let, let's just make a blanket blanket statement, okay? There is no oil. There is no herb. There is no essential oil. There is no magic berry. There isn't. There are no magic beans, Jack. Okay. There is no magic. If you're not eating a proper human diet, your health is going to suffer to some degree because of that. And if you're not eating a proper human diet, there is no magic bean, root, herb, oil, plant, berry that you can eat on the earth or in the known solar system. That's going to help you reverse that. You have to stop eating crap and stop living a junk life. It's that simple. There is no magic. If you just want to send somebody $49.99 to get their castor oil, their special proprietary castor oil blend, knock yourself out. You waste your money. It's fine. There is no magic. Paul there, Peter says that you're a magic berry. I'm a magic berry? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, no. I think he's pretty magical. Aww. Hey, thanks for the super sticker. Eat meat. Kill for life. Happy Texas mom. I reversed my diabetes and Hashimoto's. Losing 60 pounds was a plus. I can't thank y'all enough. Huzzah. Huzzah. This is just a mom from Texas, y'all. She did this. She did this. I love, though, that she said losing 60 pounds was a plus. Yeah. Because for her, and I know this from experience, reversing her diabetes and her Hashimoto's, even if she hadn't lost the 60 pounds, would have been... Such a life-changing yes, experience yes, yes, yes. that that's why she's saying those 60 pounds was a plus because the yep. healing that really yep. that really takes the cake. So right? this is why I'm always asking you guys to share because Happy Texas Mom, she heard about this from somewhere. Most likely somebody shared a video. Click the share button and share this out on your favorite social media so we can help more people like this just reverse this crap so they don't have to worry about it. I'm going to have diabetic complications. I'm 60 pounds overweight. I've got, I'm suffering from Hashimoto's. Let's just reverse this stuff and be done with it. Please share this video. Paula says you're a magic berry. Oh, so sweet. Jennifer Lucas, Dr. Berry wishes vegans the best in yeah. honor of the berry kids. Send a copy of Lies Your Doctor Told You to your favorite. Absolutely. Vegan. Yes. Please don't make fun of vegans. They believe very earnestly what they believe. They were they were misled, yes, but in their mind, it's it's the right way. You and gotta not make fun of people. Most of them are so in the they've kind of been brainwashed into this whole bit. like you're causing these animals pain and you know like, but we're all I mean as humans eating inflammatory diet that's causing us pain too and it's just a complicated yeah. Yeah. debate now uh dr barry didn't you do an interview with a former vegan just last yeah. week yeah i did a, an interview with the the amazing Lear keith who wrote the vegetarian myth and she was a, a strict vegan for decades mm -hmm. it just about destroyed her health mm -hmm. and before it was too late she figured it out and she had some tuna and then she had some eggs and then now she's she's made mostly carnivore mm -hmm. and feels better now and looks amazing at 60. Go look at that this video. This is not uncommon in mm -hmm. the carnivore community, which is yep. so interesting to me to see so many people go from one extreme end of the spectrum to the other yep. extreme based on their health deteriorating and needing to do that because of their health, even though they may have felt a certain way. Yep. Their bodies said, this isn't working and, and they had to make changes. Uh, fun fact for you. I follow the carnivore uh, literature and the spaces very closely. I also follow the vegan because I'm always trying to figure out what should I say to a vegan to, to help them understand. And I see hundreds and hundreds of people in the carnivore community saying I was a vegan for five years, three years, three months, whatever, just about kill me. Now I'm carnivore. Over in the vegan space, I, I, I see Don't every think. now and then somebody who no. says I was carnivore and almost killed me and I went vegan. Now I'm, I'm in perfect health. I've never seen that. It just and doesn't I have happen. I have a hard time believing that's not a plan. And that's my own bi yeah. bias. And I understand exactly. that. However, I've seen comments inside of. We know people personally. We do know many people. Yeah. Uh, that are, that say, I've seen this quote a few times. The carnivore community must have the highest rate a placebo effect and i find that right. very yeah. interesting because yeah. it's placebo effect is something up here getting better yeah. but that's not really what we're seeing is it we're seeing a1c's 
Right. That's black being and white. Being put it? back into normal yeah. range. We're seeing autoimmune disease being put in remission. And the numbers to We're prove it. We're seeing weight being lost. We, and the, yeah. The, like we actually, this is hard evidence. So it's so interesting for me to see them call it placebo effect. Right. And that's mo- not really what that means. In most studies about the placebo effect, it has about a 30%. It affects about 30% of the people in the study. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you're right. In the carnivore community, the placebo effects like 90%. But it's because, also, it's like, yeah. you're, uh, if it fantastic. was placebo, my goodness. Right. If I it know. was, if the brain was as powerful to make an A1C go from 14 down to 4.9, Pretty powerful placebo. Man, effect. we got a good brain. I need right? to give me some Look, of that. We, we're oh, I already got not re- re- researching the right stuff here. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? But, but yeah, but if, if you know a doctor who believes plant based is best, a dietitian, or you have somebody you love who's like, no, plant based is best, lies well, my doctor told me would be a good non it's like not in your face because I don't really talk about vegan stuff in, you don't talk in about there. Keto stuff. I don't talk keto about keto. Really? I don't go, I don't talk about carnivore. Yeah, I came, I come at it kind of around the corner. And yeah. and so I think for a lot of people they'd be seven chapters in before they went. Wait a minute. You know what I think is the most hilarious thing in the world. And I'm saying this with so much. Okay. Advice. Just want you to know oh. that the only book that you've written that's by you has absolutely nothing to do with keto and cardboard. Yep. Maybe but, you should pick that. Up. But yet it has everything to do with it. But it doesn't really mention okay. it at all. But I'm yeah. trying yeah. to yeah. say here is can y'all peer pressure him pressure him into finishing his Flipping book, please. Yeah, that would yeah, that would yeah. help me a lot. All right, in Billy. search of in search of a proper human diet is in the works. <laughs> Billy, fifty-eight year old male, recently got a CAC score of six ten, very high. Been yep. ketoboard seven months, blood work looking good. Doc says statins help to calcify or stabilize soft plaque, and wrote a script for five milligrams of rope. Rosuvastatin, that's Rosu-statin. generic crystal. Okay. Uh, so I have several thoughts about this Billy boy. That's your handle. I'm not. So at 58, 610, that's that's high. Yes. Now, did it come from your seven months of ketovore? Of course not. It came from your decades of eating a high carb crap diet. So I would continue ketovore. Absolutely. If you're enjoying it and you're feeling better, blood work's looking good. Great. But your doc is very worried. Now, your doctor is right that taking a statin will raise your CAC score. Yes, he's right about that. You're like, wait. Wait, what? Yeah. And so uh, he said it helps to stabilize soft plaque, but that's never been proven, but it will raise your CAC score. Now, with all that being said, if you wanted to compromise with your doctor, maybe your spouse is yelling at you, uh, five milligrams of of generic Crestor, that'd be the only statin I would touch. I'd probably forget it and take it every other day or something just to make everybody happy. But there's no, there's no magic pill. Okay. And uh, Rosuba satin Crestor is not a magic pill. Y'all, the comment section is cracking me up. Serena says, don't make me use my mom voice. Get that book done. I'm going to come to Tennessee with a switch. Oh, oh, listen, Granny Berry, when I was a little kid, Granny, I hope you're watching. You'll love this. Granny, there's a, a little bush here in Tennessee called a buckberry bush, and Granny, the, the buckberries are now on the endangered species list in Tennessee because Granny Berry broke so <laughs> many buckberry bushes and whooped my ass with them so many times that they're now on the endangered species list. And it didn't help. That true much. story, not really, but that's a true story, not really. <clears throat> Oh, I thought that was the rain coming. Love you, Granny Bear. Thank you for all my whoopings. Tammy, trying to keep from having hip surgery. I know to eat anti-inflammatory foods. Can cartilage be regenerated (coughs) with movement, diet, and supplements? Yep. I was just uh, having a conversation with a preventative uh, specialist, uh, Dr. Ford Brewer, and we were talking about cartilage regrowth. And not only cartilage regrowth, but just the absence of pain in a joint. Uh, I follow an orthopedic surgeon. I think his last name is Lux, L-U-K-S on Twitter. He posts pictures. He's like, yeah, you eat anti-inflammatory enough and that knee or hip that you think you need replaced, it just stops hurting. You know what we need? An orthopedic surgeon on this wagon. Mm. Anybody? To do some research yeah. into his yeah. patients and putting them on a diet. Now, he yep. would not be popular with his... Uh, mm. administrative That's true. team because That's he true. would not make as much money, but wouldn't it be great if we had somebody who mm-hmm. could just break those rules and watch yep. their patients get better without yep. invasive surgery? And I mean, 
Yeah. Hip surgery, knee surgery, those are no jokes. And we already have people. Sean Baker, who's an orthopedic surgeon. Right, but he's not actively practicing orthopedic Right now, yeah, he's, he's full-time trying to help people right, which in reverse Right, which is great, and we need him yes. in that place. Yep. But we, I wish we could find somebody. I know, I know that was in full practice, yeah. maybe in an academic setting. Mm -hmm. Mary Francis, eight years ago, I was experiencing severe cognitive de decline. Animal-based diet reversed this completely. I'll be 60 in July. Oh, Mary, that's amazing. Mary, because of all, that's so wonderful, guys. Thank you for sharing Do you that. know anybody who's starting to get forgetful, who's starting to have the first symptoms of Alzheimer's or, other, or some other dementia? Please share this video. Mm -hmm. If they, this Mary Francis's comment right here, if somebody who was, whose spouse was starting to get dementia, if they read this, they'd be like, what? And we're not sure that's what Mary's talking about. She might have severe brain fog like I did, mm. because, which looks a whole lot like mm -hmm, dementia mm -hmm. if you have ever had that Absolutely. experience with that. But meat-based, good animal fats, low Absolutely. inflammatory foods, it helps. And so there are several books that you can go read. Alternatively, there are podcasts yep. or YouTube videos you can listen to if you're not a reader. But I encourage you to get into reading. Yes. It's important. We're live right now on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And um, I just want to tell you that this part of our show is sponsored by AG1 <laughs> and Balance of Life. They are both complete and utter wastes of your money. And if you've got a subscription to them, you need to cancel it immediately. Refer back to my previous comment. There is no magic berry pill fruit. There is no magical ground up vegetable fruity powder that will give you everything you need. AG1 is a waste of your money. Balance of nature is a waste of your money. For those of you who don't understand, now back to the this show. is sarcasm. Okay. We're but not, also true. You know who we're sponsored by? I think we need to talk about this. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about it. We are sponsored by you. That's right. We are not loyal to any brands. Uh, we work. I work with a few brands that I lay the rules down and say, listen, mm -hmm. I will say what I want to say. When I want to say it, I'm going to give my honest review and period, end of story. If you, want to, if you want to work with me, great. If that's not okay with you, fine. That's two brands. Only two brands want to yep. work with me because I lay the groundwork out. At the end of the day, we have no loyalty to any brand. We only have a loyalty to you guys because you're the people we're trying to help. We're not yep. trying to help big businesses. We're not trying to help these big brands, okay? We're trying to help you. We're in the business of helping people as a doctor and a nurse. That's what we signed up for. And even though we're not out in the clinic in the hospital anymore, this is the same for mm -hmm. us. We have the same code of conduct. We have the same standards. We have the same mindset. We are not bought and paid for by anyone except for you. Yep. And if you see anybody out there uh, promoting AG1 Athletic Greens, they're the, I've, I've turned down five offers from AG1. Me too. Okay. You've got, you, yeah, we've both got offer, emails from them like, hey, we'll pay you so many thousand for a 60 second video. I'm like, you're a waste of money. Did I'm you not, flip the camera off? I did. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that to people. No. I, if you pay me five grand, great. I'm not going to say AG1 is the best. AG1 is number one. I'm not going to do that. No. But if you, if you've been following us for a while or if you only followed us for a few years, have you ever seen him ever have a sponsored video? No. You haven't. And you never will. No. This no. is who sponsors us. The people in our side of our PhD community, and we try our best to give them back more than they give us. This is who sponsors us. This is who pays us to continue working. This is who pays to support this mission. This is where we get our sponsorships from. And you guys that are inside of the group, just know you make it possible for us to do what we do yep. without selling out. Yep. And that's not, not everybody can do that. And I understand that we don't hold that against anybody, any creator who's trying to do good things. We're not, but we're, we're, our point is thank you yes. to those of you who support yes. our mission and this channel and my channel and the yep. community. You're the ones who keep us from having to sell. Yeah. Because if you want to sponsor us, you can share this video. Hit the mm -hmm. thumbs up in the heart. You can join our community. It's a few bucks a month. Or you can just share the video. Share that the video. Too. It's yeah. free. Absolutely. But we will. I, and so once again, let me say just to sum up, uh, balance of nature is a waste of money. Okay. Back to the show. Thank you so much for your support. 
if you're a subscriber or a member. Either way, we really appreciate you. We don't say that enough. No, we don't. I'm say gonna that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna we love now. you guys. Vicky, 71 year old lady labs. How bad are these? So A1C is 6.1. You're pre diabetic, Vicky. That's no bueno. You don't want that, but that's the bad news. Good news is you can reverse that completely. HSCRP 3.46. That's high. You've got inflammation or infection somewhere in your body or, or several places. Fasting insulin 26.3. You have hyperinsulinemia currently, but you can also reverse that. Fed rate was five, also inflammation, vitamin D, 35.9. That's low. We want that between 50 and 100. Uh, good news is you can fix that as well with a with eating the vitamin D-rich foods I talk about in my YouTube video and plus or minus taking a vitamin D supplement. So how are you going to reverse your A1C, your hyperinsulinemia, your chronic inappropriate inflammation, you're going to do that by adopting a proper human diet. Now, down in the show notes, you can get a free copy of the proper human diet guidebook. It's about 20 pages. It, gets, it sums it up and it doesn't try to sell you anything, but it just says here, here's the information. You, I'll email it to you immediately if you just sign up to on the, do the quick form. There you go. But within three to six months, Miss Vicky, you can have every single one of these numbers back to normal and feel better in many, many ways. How cool is that? And you can do it all for free. You don't have to buy a course. You don't have to buy my line of supplements, which I don't sell, even though I've been told multiple times I should do that because I'd make $10 million a year. Not interested. I'd just rather help 10 million people like Miss Vicky. That's what I'm in this for. Um, if you guys want to join the PhD community, it's just PhD health dot community. That is a website. I don't know it sounds funny, but you just go to www.phdhealth.com community and that'll get you yep over there. now will you ever get dr sean baker on a live show he's been on the show for I swear I mean, he's, a while back it's been a yeah. long time but i he was i've had him on before but i've been on his uh show two or three times i'll reach out to sean I, we uh, yeah I'll, I'll see if he wants to come on sometime we're, we're trying to get more new voices yeah. on that reach new people Alyssa, if you're watching topics, but we'd love to have sean on Absolutely. Morgan, my 70-year-old dad has been keto for a year and a half and has lost 30 pounds. His A1C hasn't budged from 5.7. Triggs are 166, so those are both a little bit high. <coughs> TSH 7.1. Uh, is he having low thyroid symptoms? Because if he is, he has hypothyroidism, and that could be causing the other two things to remain abnormal. Mm -hmm. He probably is, if you actually tracked his, his carbohydrates, his protein, and his fat, he's probably eating keto-ish or dirty keto. He may be counting net carbs instead of total carbs. You can tighten up dad's diet just a little bit and he'll have a normal A1C and normal triglycerides within three months. Okay. But the, the TSH has got to be addressed. He needs a full thyroid panel. We talk about this in our private group and what that entails. It's also in my book, Common Sense Labs. And that's for, on Amazon. And that's on Amazon. Yep. And you can then ask your doctor, his doctor, for a full thyroid panel and get the hypothyroidism fixed if that's what he has. You know what I forgot to mention? People like Zach and Morgan, who send super chats and super stickers, you're also a sponsor. That's the absolutely work too. true. Yeah, so and we appreciate it so much. You don't have to join the community. You can send a super sticker. But like yep. I said, hit the like, hit the share, share it on free. Facebook. That's supportive too. So. Share it on Twitter. Hashtag vegan. Let's just it. Yes, not do it. I flipping hate Twitter, and I don't care who knows it. Sorry, Elon. Logan, I don't hate Elon. I just no, don't like Twitter. He's pretty cool, right? <laughs> Logan, wife went carnivore for four months, dropped forty nine pounds. A one C is five point six. She is sleeping better and feels so much better. Very proud of her, and she's joined the PhD community. Awesome, Logan. That's it, Logan. I love that you're sharing. Yes. The pride you have for your wife and. Yep. Yep. Like, huzzah to you for being that kind of husband. Yep. And this is a great way for a spouse who, if they say, honey, you're eating too many cupcakes, you don't want to be that spouse because that's just going to cause a fight. You could just share a video. Right. There's the website. Take a screenshot for those of you. I see a lot of people like your link. It also, Dr. Ray's link in the description is wrong. I'm going to fix that. Oh, is it him. wrong? I'm going to fix that for him. What's it saying? It says drberry.com community, but that doesn't work anymore <sighs> because our community, our, our website is broken and we're having to have it fixed. I'm going to fix mm. that. So take a screenshot and you can go check that out after the live stream, guys. Uh, CJ says, do you know any carnivore friendly PCPs. I do not. And I've got a video on my YouTube channel called How to Find a Keto-Friendly Doctor Near You, CJ. Watch that and put in your zip code. And if you can find a doctor who's low-carb friendly or 
keto friendly, they're going to understand carnivore and they'll be fine with it. Yeah. We're working on a resolution to this problem, mm -hmm. the lack of carnivore keto yep. doctors in the States and worldwide as well. Um, we're working on that. It's a project that you guys are going to help us do. Yep. So stay tuned. It's going to take a minute. Joan, belly protruding, NAFLD, or umbilical hernia. It could be both. I'd have to examine you to know for sure. You need to go see your doctor, and if you suspect NAFLD or MAFLD, they're, they're actually changing the word for it now, uh, but have them do an abdominal ultrasound or a CAT scan, and then with a physical exam, your doctor can tell you within 30 seconds whether you have an umbilical hernia or not. Melissa just shared to X, aka Twitter. Thanks, Melissa. If you've shared it, yeah, tell us in the comments tell if you share it. Also, y'all always share your success stories in the comments. Even if we don't see it, someone else is going to see it. Absolutely. And maybe the person who sees that really needed to see yep. that story. So yep. share your success story every Monday Night Live. Copy, paste it. Share it as many times as you want. Yeah, because that, that's, that's a great way of paying it forward. Is right. to just tell your story every Monday night in the comments. Because I promise you, people read these comments. And somebody's going to see your comment and go, that's me. That's me. If they did it. I can do it. Right. Uh, we're going to do a live one day that just focuses on success stories. Mm -hmm. We're getting that put together. We have a lot that you guys have submitted, and we're excited to start showing Yes, that. absolutely. Well, the reason we don't do that more often is it kind of feels like we're taking credit for that, and we don't. We don't. Tudo again, our uh, Italian friend. We're all on a strict diet, training and sleeping program. We usually have uh, to wake up at 3.30 a.m. to start our daily morning programs. Yes. Well, okay, get with it, Tudo. Eat your meat and go run hard. <coughs> Eves? Mom, 85, has dementia, Alzheimer's, trying to get her on carnivore keto. She's super carb addicted. How long do you think until I can see progress? It depends on, first of all, does mom want to do this? Because you always have to be respectful and loving to your elders. And she's 85. If she says, no, I'm not doing that. I want my tea and toast and crackers and, and donut. She's 85. Let her do what she wants to do. But if she's amenable, then yes, slowly transition her over a month or two to either strict keto, real whole food, one ingredient keto or carnival. Absolutely. And then help her to stick with that. Okay. Uh, within three months, you should be seeing some, some, obvious signs of improvement in multiple conditions. It's very easy to make things keto without mom knowing. That's also true. There you can make protein shakes. There are many quality protein shakes on the market. Keto chow, equipped from your protein. Adding exogenous ketones is fine in those instances yep. because they can benefit. Uh, adding butter or MCT oil is going to be good. Yep. There are ways to sneak in those foods. Absolutely. Um, so don't Absolutely. be afraid to be like, look at this meatloaf I made you, Grandma. Mm -hmm. And it's totally keto, right? Or carnivore, almost. Wise woman. Thank, Thank you so you much. Thank you so much. MP. Can I reverse cyst in dense breasts with supplements? I found kettles and I intermittent fasting. Lost 30 pounds. Uh, I think. Keto is what she meant to Oh, say. found keto and intermittent fasting. Oh. Okay, maybe. And 30 pounds. <clears throat> Unsincere. Last September, any advice? Thank you. Yeah, you're probably deficient in iodine, uh, MP. Watch my videos on my YouTube channel about iodine. And I think you'll go, oh, okay. Because fibrocystic breast disease, dense, painful breasts, almost always, at least one of the causes is an iodine deficiency. A SUMA new article states eight hour time restricted eating linked to 91% higher risk of cardiovascular death. Would say you, I've got a video coming out on my YouTube channel tomorrow. So be watching for that. If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you are because some people think they are and they ain't. Click the subscribe button and then you'll get a notification when I post that video. But just to sum it up, it's it's bunk. Autonomic. <clears throat> what is it? Carnivore since January 1. Quit smoking. Fabulous. Excellent. On uh, three one, very fatigue and achy. How do I get yep. back to feeling great? Feels like I'm back on the standard American diet. Yeah, this is you're still withdrawing from the smoking. A nicotine is a stimulant. It it hypes you up. It makes you ignore pain. It makes you not feel as hungry. Uh, it's gonna take. Sometimes it takes three weeks to get completely through that that addiction breaking process. Hang in there. I promise you're going to feel better soon. Bump up your fat. Eat to your comfortably stuffed. Stay as low, low carb as you possibly can. Thank you, Thanks, Sean. Sean. Remy. 
My friend lost 25 pounds on carnivore. She's concerned since her HDL and LDL went up. And doctor said, out of range, should she be concerned? HDL is 237. That's the highest HDL I've ever heard. And LDL was 210. So I've got multiple videos on my YouTube channel that will help you understand HDL is not a problem for the vast majority of people. LDL is not a problem. Uh, have her watch those videos, Remy, and it will help her understand. Okay. RJG, I started carnivore last week. How worried should I be about oxalate dumping? Well, you shouldn't be worried at all about ox oxalate dumping. That's a good thing. If you've built up unnecessary, unwanted oxalates in your body, you want to dump them. Now, there may be some side effects temporarily from that, but it, that's that's good. You want to get rid of any excess oxalates that you've stored inappropriately. Thank you very much, Tony. Thank you, Upgrade King. Upgrade King. Oh, wait, he's got a question. Hello, Dr. Nurse. What are your cholesterol numbers when you got lab results? That We have already made a video and, and, and revealed all of our labs inside of our private community. Uh, they all know our cholesterol numbers. They know our inflammatory markers. And I'll just tell you, it ain't good. Uh, it's pretty well, bad. Well, mine were perfectly fine. Thanks very much. Mine were fine, too. I'm just, I'm just being funny. Uh, but if you, can, if you want to see them right now, just join the community, Upgrade King, and you can see them. You can watch that video. Uh, but we're going to be posting them publicly within the next few days. I have to send them to the video editor because I'm not going to edit that video. It's too long. Yeah. And I don't want it on my channel. Yeah, we did it on her channel inside the private group, but we're going to have it edited and then we're going to post it probably on my channel because she doesn't want all the, the people to be like, well, people. you're blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear that. Yeah. I don't need that yeah. in my life. Yeah, I you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't care. So within a week or two, it'll be posted on my YouTube channel for everybody, but we wanted to give our private community tribe members ample time to go over them, to look at them, to talk about them, to discuss them before we released it to the general public. And although the poor vegans are chomping at the bit because they just know my LDL cholesterol is going to be high, hint, it is, uh, they, they can see it whenever yeah, I publish it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So if you're one of my vegan colleagues on Twitter, hold you, hold you, to hold you taters. Mine looks okay. Fine. Her, her, yeah, her cholesterol is amazing. Everything, all my cardiac labs are yep, perfect. Yep, Josie Darkblade. So you had me, I was up and then Dark down. Black. 34 year old female waking up a lot, uh, seven months carnivore. I eat butter before bed. Insomnia is better, but still not great. Any tips? Are you waking up in the middle of the night and then being up for a while, then going back to sleep? Because this is a natural way of sleeping for many, many people. And when they adopt and stick to a proper human diet, all of a sudden they start having this style of sleep again that's called biphasic sleep. And anthropological research shows that about a third of people thousands of years ago had biphasic sleep. So you would wake up in the middle of the night, get up and stoke the fire, maybe look for predators, maybe check the baby, and then maybe have sex, and then you go back to sleep. And so about a third of people are early birds, about a third of people are night owls, and about a third of people have biphasic sleep naturally. This is not necessarily insomnia if that's what you're experiencing. So uh, read up on biphasic sleep. It's, it's, it's natural. Wise woman, why the numbness in the fingers while on ketobore? I have no idea. You need to see your doctor. Keto, ketobore doesn't cause that. Is it too much protein? No. And fat? No in my blood or is it a mineral deficiency? Uh, it, it could be a, an electrolyte, a salt or a mineral issue, but ketoboard didn't cause it. You need to go see your doctor ASAP for some testing. Chris, what's your preferred way to measure ketones? <laughs> uh, to not measure them at all, because when you're eating high fat enough. Listen, but we're well into this journey, right? right? So when we first started, we did blood ketones. Now, a lot of people do urine ketones, but they're highly inaccurate a few weeks in, money. right? Yep. So you should just, if you want to test them, you need a blood ketone meter and you need to measure them at the correct time yep. of day. Now, there are several brands on the market. Keto Mojo is one, BioCoach is the other. Uh, both of yep. those are perfectly fine. I think yep. you can buy them both, both on Amazon. And then they also have websites where you could see refer right, reference ranges for the different levels of ketosis. So there's yep. low level of ketosis, nutritional ketosis, deep ketosis, therapeutic yep. ketosis, and they're very great resource. There's a lot of great resources on like why you would need to be in each stage, what are the benefits, and, and there's lots of information on YouTube University, guys. Absolutely. You know, use that YouTube. Look it up. 
Uh, Hikari, hey, Dr. Barry, my grandmother suffers from a fib bad and has had two ablations. Would this diet be something that helps her out? Have you heard of anyone having this problem solved? Very, very often a fib is caused by an inf inflamed irritable uh, SA node and uh, in the heart and it gets an improper signal to the atria resulting in AFib. Sometimes it's a little micro infarct that's just at the right place. Somewhat. I'm like you said infarct. No, infarct. But it sounded like fart. <laughs> oh, now who's got mom jokes now? Okay. Uh, so you need to see your doctor if you haven't already. I'm sure you have. She's had two ablations, but absolutely lowering the inflammation in her body, lowering, lowering her glucose numbers and her insulin numbers. We've had hundreds, if not thousands of people say their AFib got much, much better on ketoboard carnivore. Thank you, Mimi. Cruising uh, crew. Cruising crew. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Barry and Tanisha. You've changed my life and I've lost 90 pounds. Ready? One, two, three. Huzzah! Huzzah! And off all meds. Wow, that deserves another one, honestly. Huzzah. I have added years to my life. Yes. Thanks to y'all. 55 and loving life now. Yes, and thanks Good for sharing this. job. Well done. Yeah. You put in the work, right? We just sit on here and give yeah. information. You did it. You, you did, did it. This. You did this. Good yeah. Job. And now if you'd like to thank us, then you can pay this forward by sharing this video with a bunch of friends. I, think crew probably I bet so. Yes. Mm -hmm. And thanks for the super chat. And you're just 55 years old. You're not old. Okay. All you guys, if you're over 50, you need to be kicking ass. I believe this so fervently that a friend of my, mine and I wrote a book called Kicking Ass After 50. There's a link in the show notes wait, if you want wait, to check wait, it out. I think that it's oh, over there. Oh, is it over there? Oh, gosh. Why are you right on all these things? Because I'm always thinking out loud. Sharpie. And this is, I can't even show that. It's just show it. It's fine. It's got my notes. I don't know what you It's nothing bad. It's nothing bad. No phone numbers. Kicking Ass Kicking After 50. Kicking Ass After and 50. We're working on a, an updated edition. And that's why the notes if are If you want over. some eye candy, uh, you can look up the co-author on Instagram. And he has a shirt off all the time. Zane Griggs. Zane Griggs. Yes, with two Gs. Three Welcome, Gs, ladies. Mimi, why would an, a diabetic who is on carnivore run high blood sugars, 150, 170s, and produce ketones? So it's very. it depends on where you're at in your healing journey, this Mimi. Okay, if you're still type 2 diabetic or pre-diabetic, you're still going to have high blood sugars as for a while, but you're going to notice they're trending down as time goes on. Recheck your A1C and your fasting insulin every three months, and that's going to tell you that you're making progress uh, because very often for a carnivore, having a blood sugar higher than you would expect is not really glycating. When you get your A1C, you're like, oh, that's better than I expected it to be, and that's why. I'll leave. What are your thoughts on keto, keto carnivore for intercostal neuralgia caused by breast cancer and surgery? So if this is a post-surgical thing, sometimes one of the little intercostal nerves gets cut during the procedure. Uh, eating a proper human diet, keto, ketoboard carnivore is going to decrease the severity of the neuralgia symptoms. It may or may not make it go completely away. I can't promise that. It helps with a lot. A lot of, of neuropathies neuropathy. and neuralgias. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I would try it for 90 days. Carnivore for 90 days. Beef, mm -hmm. butter, bacon, and eggs. See if it helps. See if it helps. Also, time. And then share your story. Because, you know, nerves take a little bit longer they to do. heal they than do. other stuff. That's why 90 days, not 30. Yeah. Now. Preston. Hey, doc. I have bipolar, but want to do carnivore. Mm -hmm. Do I need a dietitian to help me get off of the meds? You need a provider. A competent doctor. Yes. That's what you need. Yes. Competent doctor. I don't necessarily know how to structure yeah. it. Any sources you recommend. Yeah. What I would do. <clears throat> so you need to read the book by Dr. Chris Palmer, Brain Energy. And you need to read the book by Dr. Georgia Ede called. Why do we, we keep having Fix to look your at diet, book? fix your brain. I think is what it's called. Damn it. Change your diet, change, your, change diet. your mind. Yes, change your diet, change your mind. They Dr. are both Jordan, psychiatrists. Sorry. So read those books, and I want you to start calling around to different psychologists, psychiatrist offices and saying, I am eating a much better diet and living a better life. This is what you're going to say. This is your script. I want to start lowering the doses, dosages of my psych meds. Will you help me de-prescribe? and decrease my dosages. If they say, well, we don't typically do that, then hang up the phone, call somebody else. Keep calling until you find a mental health care professional who says, yeah, we, we help people de-prescribe. Yes, absolutely. If you're feeling better. They have to know how to do it. That's some right. Doctors don't. Yeah, some doctors have no idea. Some docs will stop you cold turkey, which you do not, do not, do not want to do. That is bad. 
No bueno. You want to wean these down slowly, some much more slowly than others. Take your time. There's no rush, Preston. Eat a proper human diet and find a good mental health care doctor. Dwight Garlo, thank you so much for the generous super chat. He says, Sir Ken and Dame Nisha, Aww. thank you for all you do and have done six years carnivore and reverse my metabolic syndrome with your help. Now I am helping my 58th person. Their insulin is under 10. So many have reversed diseases <laughs> they thought were lifelong. Yeah. Thanks for paying yeah. it forward, Dwight. That's awesome. Now I want to ask y'all a question. He, he's helped how many people? 58. 58 people, one-on-one, help them adopt and stick to a proper human diet. How many people do you know that, that started Weight Watchers? And then they, without being paid, went on to help 58 people adopt weight. Not, nobody yet, me either. Right. What about Slim Fast? What about, uh, I don't know, whatever. No, nobody. No, nobody does right. that because it, it don't work. You yo-yo diet, but on a proper human diet, you go to healthy and you stay at healthy and it makes you want to pay it forward. Right. And this this can be seen by so many healthcare providers, nurses, dietitians, nutritions. We see more and more every day, yep. not as many as we need, but more and more every day coming on board, sharing this message yes. and sharing their experience with how they thought this was wrong and unhealthy and how now they admit they were wrong and they're helping people. Yep learn this too. Uh, health coaching is becoming a real thing because so many of you helped yourself and now want to help somebody else and help yep. pay it forward. And I think that is amazing. And we're working on making health coaching better than it ever has been because you guys, you have the power to change lives. Absolutely. There's nothing that special about it. I mean, he's pretty special. I'm okay. But you <laughs> guys can do this too. There's nothing different about you guys from us that you can't share this message and share and this with other then people. it's like the alternate Dr. Barry finger. So instead of this finger, please, please okay. don't do that again. Granny's watching. Sorry, Granny. I'm she's sorry. Gonna call she's gonna she's like, gonna break a book. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Marty Mac started a PhD with you guys at age 56 and a half. Uh, no, five years in, better at 61 than I've been in a very very long time. A1C 4.7 and holding. Uh, thank you both so much. Marty Mac, it is it is a pleasure to help find folks like you because we know you're gonna start you're gonna start helping your neighbors and helping your best friend and helping your relatives because it's just the normal human thing to do. When you find something that works, you're like, crap, I need to tell everybody about this. Uh, Becca has highlighted a question that I, I think oh, okay. a lot it? of people want us to answer. Okay. Uh, Ms. Gale says, I'm 83 years old. I'm diabetic. I've been carnivore, ketovore for two years. My blood sugar is over 200, sometimes over 300, and my ketones are over two most days. What is wrong? Uh, who is this? Gail. Gail. Ms. Gail, you need to have your fasting insulin checked. It almost certainly you, you've developed something called LADA, L-A-D-A, which is basically adult onset type one. Uh, your doctor should have already checked your fasting insulin, but if they haven't, I'm afraid it's going to be close to zero, if not zero. You probably are going to need to inject insulin. And if you're, you're eating the proper human diet, but your pancreas has just got up and went more than likely. Mm. Okay. If you're, if you're in our private community, uh, Gail, Miss Gale, Gale, reach out to one of the coaches and they will they'll accelerate this up the chain. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're not in the private group, yeah, Miss Gale, you might want to join because we can help you with this and all the labs and everything else. Uh, but go see your doctor and ask specifically for a fasting insulin. Unless you're injecting insulin, then you're going to ask for a C peptide. And that will give you your answer. Brenda says, no, we do listen. Just now, Pri Primal Health Coach certified Nisha's video helping me pull the trigger. I think a lot of you nice. have heard me say there is a place for you. Absolutely. And health coaching. Absolutely. And I'm telling you, yes. I'm making it my personal mission. Well, let's make some predictions about uh, health coaches. Certified, properly trained health coaches. I predict that within five to 10 years, every doctor's office. Every good doctor. I was going to say every doctor who actually gives a shit, they're going to have a health coach on staff that's a certified health coach because they don't have 30 minutes to sit and explain a proper human diet. No, and also it's statistically proven that when someone has support, they're more successful. Absolutely. The, and the, the beauty in health coaching is you don't have to be sitting right next to somebody. You can do it remotely. Yeah. There is the Internet. You know, there's some yeah. bad in there, but there's so much good. You can yes. help people. Absolutely. And I, I'm telling you, big things are coming from Nisha. 
and some of my fellow health mm-hmm. coaches, we're mm-hmm. working to make this space profitable and also purposeful, yes, right? Absolutely. They don't have to exist. Yeah. And all you, you, I know we've got healthcare providers watching this because I see you in the comments. Mm-hmm. Consider hiring a certified health coach. They will help you. They will 10x your ability to spread the word about a proper human diet. All right. Jennifer says, looking forward to Easter with only keto and carnivore mm-hmm. options. Going non-traditional with tacos, fajitas, cilantro, lime, cauliflower, rice. Love that. Yep. So we're having roasted uh, chicken quarters for me. And then Ken's going to have steak because he's yeah. like steak. And can we have ribs? You're awful needy for someone who don't cook. I didn't order ribs from oh. the grocery store. But I mean, okay. I, can, I can work on that for you if you okay. request. You don't want steak? Yeah, I want steak and ribs. So the rest of the family, my parents obviously will be here. We're having roasted chicken quarters uh, with cilantro, actually also garlic and rosemary. And then we're going to have broccoli salad. My mom loves broccoli salad. The kids aren't going to touch it. Which that. you can make very low carb. It, well, yeah. Yeah, if you um, use the right stuff. And then I'm also making... There's one more thing. Yes. Oh, deviled eggs. Duh. <laughs> Duh. 14 dozen deviled eggs, mm. please. Robert. Hey, Robert. 54-year-old. Me to very eight months down, 80 pounds. So he's you've lost 80 pounds in eight months, I think. Cincinnati, Ohio, A1C 4.4. Should I take electro lights, lights for sporties for hockey sports. key baseball? Uh, if you're going to be sweating during any activity, then I would add some electrolytes to the water that you drink. Uh, I love it that you've lost 80 pounds and now you feel like playing hockey. I freaking love that. I, my whole life, I wanted to play hockey, uh, but Tennessee, no. In, in the woods in Tennessee, no no ice rink. So, yeah. yeah. We have more places in Nashville. I can barely now. skate also. Because so. Nashville is now a hockey. Yeah. We have a really good yeah. hockey team. Yeah. Actually. But not when I was a kid. Sean. Hey, Sean. Hey, Doc. Have familial hypercholesterolemia. Went carnivore for seven months to help lipids and uh, CBD risk. Most numbers great. But LDL is 650 and trigs are 220 and develop tendons and thomas. So you need to see a lipidologist. If, if you're truly ketovore and your triglycerides are truly 220, you probably have a familial hypertriglyceridemia. Uh, and that, that can lead to xanthomas. It's not that you can't eat fat. You're probably going to have to modify your keto, a ketovore back to keto is probably what you're going to have to do. Y'all, we have went over time tonight and our kids are fixing the pool in the driveway. But if you haven't had enough of us, you can come back next week. Same place, same time. We'll be here. But if that's too long to wait. If you just love us or want to support this channel and keep us sponsored by the people, you can join the community for extra live stream. Or maybe you just want to join the community. Tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. Central. We're going to be live in the private group just like this. And instead of 5,726 people asking questions. That's all over different platforms. There will be two or 300. Yeah. And so. We also have amazing keto. Well, we don't call them keto coaches. They're PhD PhD coaches. coaches. Absolutely. We have amazing people in the group that can support you. All certified coaches. We also have just regular people that love to be in there to share their experiences. There's somebody in there that's went through what you went through and can help you get over those humps and bumps and share in the struggles and help you celebrate your wins. So come join the PhD community. We've got thousands of people in the community from all over the world, every continent except Antarctica. Antarctica. So if any research, yes. researchers are down in Antarctica, consider becoming a member. Then we can have all seven continents covered. But I promise you, there's somebody eating a proper human diet near where you live. If you join the community, you can find them. You can join for as little as $5 a month. But if you don't want to do that, don't worry. We're Fine. still be here yep. next week. Just Monday. share this video. Seven. No, no, we're now at six. Six, six central. Central.